with COVID going on, has that changed how you've recruited kids for this next year's team? Well, it's still business as usual. Early before I, you know, I was choosing, I was watching a lot of film, um, but I've been able to get out um, places um, that have opened up again and, you know, with the COVID uh, protocols in place and have been able to see, see players in person myself. Again, um, again, the, the basketball piece for me is easy in choosing someone. It is the, the, what I've been able to do still is when people tell me that, yeah, this, they're this kind of teammate, they're a great teammate. I'm going to games, I'm watching that. I'm not watching if they can play or not. I'm not going to go watch them if I didn't think they could play. I'm, I'm watching all the other stuff. Are they going to be a teammate? Are they going to allow me to coach them? Are the people around them who I'm watching in the stands, are they going to allow me to coach them? Or are they going to coach them? You know, I'm watching all that stuff. I think that's one of those soft skills. Kids just need to have beaten their heads over and over again that it's not – about how many points you score. I really think that's 90% of that they think they think what that's what does it when everyone else knows experts like yourself that it's all the other soft skills too that come into place. And that that passionate parent in the crowd can really be a hindrance too sometimes. That bad body language, that going to the end of the bench and not clapping for your teammates, not listening in the huddle, all that right. stuff is just important to guys like you. Well, think about it, Corey. You, you you know these schools up here. You know this league, you know, and the teams I play against. This will be the first time a guy's going to sit on the bench too some. Mm -hmm. You know, you have guys in, in a normal high school game who are playing like, you know, I guess regular high school plays 36 minutes. We play 40, play college level games, right? And they're used to playing all the minutes or getting all the shots, shooting all the balls, I say. So you're used to shooting all the balls. This is the first time you get to come maybe and learn how to be a really good teammate. Unless they're down in the WCAC, right? Where, yeah. you know, it's the same type of, type of environment that um, not – this, I always say, this isn't the place for everyone. Our league isn't the place for everyone. Because if you don't have selflessness in your bones somewhere, and that some people have to learn it, um, it's going to be tough for you because there are going to be times where in, I'm drawing up an ATO and it's not for you. And you're the best player, but it's not for you because you're not playing well or you've missed your last five threes. Does it make sense for us to run that for you or run it somebody who's going to make a shot? because we're trying to win. And that's the biggest part about, um, I think, when you come to places like this, is that you have the ability to teach kids how to win. Because the, the two of the hardest things at the college level to teach, and, and goes from there to the NBA, is one, teaching players how to play really, really hard. And the other thing is how to win. Mm. When I go and watch a lot of the high school ki kids that I recruit in AAU, I'm looking for kids who know how to win. Because I'm going to teach you the rest. I'm going to get your skills right. But do you want to win or do you want to just see your name? And that's, that's the biggest deal. And, and, and on, on the front and the back of the jerseys, your name's not going to be on there when you're here. It's about the team.